Hi and welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about the relationship between solubility and Ks for AB2 and A2B salts and particularly we're going to look at the calculations to convert from one to the other. Now this is very similar to what we did for the AB salts, it's just slightly trickier because we've got a non one to one ratio. Okay, so the first thing to think about is it works exactly the same as those AB salts, just with a little tweak. And it, this particular method that I'm going to show you only works for a pure salt in water. So again, we're going to look at how much of that salt is dissolving, and we're going to call that S. So S amount of our salt dissolves, and it's going to give either A2 plus and 2B minus ions, or two A plus ions and a B2 minus. Now if we've got our equilibrium constant expressions quite clearly there, if S amount of AB2 dissolves, we're going to get an S amount of A2 plus and two S of the B minuses, which we can put into that equation. Similarly with our A2B, we've got two lots of A plus, so two S, and one lot of B minus, which is S. We can substitute those numbers in very simply. Simplify that expression down. So Ks is the equivalent of 4S cubed, or S is the cubed root of Ks over 4. Now, cubed root of Ks over 4, that's always a tricky one. I don't actually recommend that people memorize these. It is on your formula sheet, but more important is to know when and how to use it. Which, as I said before, is only for pure salts in water, nothing else. But let's look at an example. I just, I like working through these bit by bit, always going back to first principles. So here we've got lead chloride which has an equilibrium constant expression of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5. So we can write the equation first for the dissolving of lead chloride, and I always recommend doing this. It's very, very important. So if S amount of lead chloride dissolves, then we're going to get S amount of lead 2 plus ions and 2S amount of chloride ions. We've got our equilibrium constant expression, Ks is lead 2 plus times chloride squared. Substituting in our s's and 2 s's and our value for Ks, we've got 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 equals 4 s cubed, which we can then rearrange so that s is equal to the cubed root of 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 over 4. Now you can see how I've got those numbers in brackets and that is really important to do on your calculator. Or you work it one bit out first and then do the next step. If you don't, then you will stuff up your calculation. Doing it like this, however, you will find that S is equal to 0 0.0162 moles per litre. Now, if we go back to the second bullet point up there, that means we have S amount of lead 2 plus, so the concentration of lead 2 plus is going to be 0 0.0162 moles per litre. And we have 2s amount of chloride. That means the concentration of chloride is going to be 0.0324 moles per litre. Now that's really important. It's a nice little trick that they like to throw into NCEA from time to time. Okay, so come back to that statement that you've made, the assumptions, the, the ratios, and actually go back to the concentrations of those ions. Okay, now the other thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to be able to calculate Ks from the solubility of a sparingly soluble salt. Okay, so here's an example with magnesium hydroxide where we know the solubility is 1.1 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per litre. Again, we start off with our expression, magnesium 2 plus and 2 hydroxides. We know the solubility in this case. So we know that 1.1 times 10 to the minus 4 moles of magnesium hydroxide will dissolve into 1 litre. Given concentrations for magnesium of 1.1 times 10 to the minus 4 mole per litre, 
and hydroxide of 2.2 times 10 to the minus 4 mole per litre. We have our KS expression, magnesium times hydroxide squared. And so we can simply substitute those numbers in and solve it, giving KS of 5.3 times 10 to the minus 12. Now these, um, these conversions, calculations and expressions come up every year in NCEA. And so I would really like you to learn how to do these. My next video is going to work you through an NCEA exam question that work relates to this stuff. So I hope to see you there soon.